pleasure, right? He will have happiness. He will have uh, more satisfying happiness in life. Similarly, we do austerity for our company. We do austerity for our college. Like there are many big big celebrities, both sir, hero hero in actor actors actresses. Huh? They have so much restrictions in their life. Ah, ye nahi khana hai, wo nahi khana hai, all these things. Many singers also they don't many times eat uh, ice creams, etc. Because it will hurt their throat. So it's not that only religious people perform austerity. Every one of us, every single person in this world performs austerity. Austerity for what? Austerity for something better. So that is the definition of austerity. Austerity means voluntary restraint to get unending happiness. मतलब अभी थोड़ा सा inconvenience झेलने का for getting more uh, perfect happiness. So that's what we should do in our spiritual life also. We should perform austerity of not doing these sinful activities so that we can get a better life ahead. Second is sacrifice. So sacrifice is also very important. What is the meaning of sacrifice? Sacrifice का meaning होता है यज्ञ. In Hindi we call it यज्ञ. So यज्ञ doesn't mean only एक हवन लगा के उसके अंदर आहुति डालना. That is one of the form of यज्ञ. But basically यज्ञ means doing those activities which please God. Okay, because we our body has been given by God, our talents have been given by God. All our abilities have been given to us by God. So if we utilize them properly in service of God, then that is sacrifice. Third, very important thing is knowledge. We have to gain. We should gain knowledge from scriptures. Because अभी suppose आप uh, like you are in India. Suppose नहीं, you are in India, or you go to America. Suppose you go to America and you start driving on the uh, left side of the road. आप अमेरिका में जाके रोड के लेफ्ट साइड में अगर आप ड्राइव कर रहे हो और पुलिस वाले आपको पकड़ते हैं एंड यू से टू दे टू द पुलिस पर्सन ट्रैफिक पुलिस कि यू यू डोंट हैव एनी राइट टू कैच मी अगर आप पुलिस को बोलते हो कि यू डोंट हैव एनी राइट टू कैच मी व्हाई बिकॉज आई डोंट नो योर रूल्स एंड रेगुलेशन मुझे अमेरिका के जो गवर्नमेंट uh, के जो लॉज है ट्रैफिक जो लॉज है आई डोंट नो दे I am innocent person. You don't have any right to catch me. What will that traffic police person do? Will he catch us or not catch us? Yeah, please uh, re reply. Will the traffic police man will he catch us for breaking the rule or not? If we drive our vehicle in the wrong side. Catches obviously right, but why? Why he should catch? Um, I I don't know the rules, na. He sh he has right to catch me only when I know the rules and I break them. अगर मुझे rules ही नहीं पता, तो break करने की तो बात ही नहीं आती, right? So why will he catch us? Because the very fact that I am in America, I am supposed to know the rules. It is my responsibility to know the rules. it is said that uh, ignorance cannot be an excuse we cannot use ignorance as an excuse similarly just because we have got this human body we can't say ki mere ko uh, scriptural rules nahi pata kya galat hai kya sahi hai nahi pata all that excuse we can't give because humko bhagwan ne padhne ki ability di hai bhagwan god has given us so much intelligence and if we don't use this to understand what is good action what is bad action what is the consequence of all our actions then that is not an excuse we will still get the uh, results of our sinful activity so it's very important that we cultivate knowledge from scriptures and fourth most important thing is association right uh, one famous uh, person says that uh, you tell me your association and i will tell you which what kind of person you are so our association is all that makes us or breaks us so it's very important that we cultivate a good saintly association with good people so these are the four things you you can remember this acronym aska aska you can remember not aastha aska 
A for austerity, S for sacrifice, K for knowledge, and A for association. So ask her. And four simple activities which we should not do are uh, no meat eating, no intoxication, no uh, gambling, and no illicit sex. So four things we should restrain, and four things we should do. And then if we do like this, then we will gradually elevate in our quality of life to the kingdom of God. So this is what uh, comprises the mechanism of reincarnation. Now, just now we discussed that uh, we are we we are supposed to know about God and we are supposed to not break the rules of God, but. many people feel ki i am only god right many people say that i am only god so is that true or we are someone different first of all we came to know that we are not this body we are soul but what is that soul is that soul only god like people say na ki atma hi parmatma hai but that is a very wrong concept friends we should be very careful not to fall prey to such foolish arguments that i am only god so there is a difference between us and god we are not gods but we belong to god so this is a very interesting uh, short poem uh, i am a tiny jeeva not the ultimate god but a tiny part and parcel servant of the lord leaving god's company forced to be born in pain in the world filled with agony again and again krishna is my lord as per the script uh, like uh, the uh, essence of all scriptures vedanta sutra and shrimad bhagavatam they accept krishna as the lord the source of all existence his form is imperishable full of six opulences what are these opulences we'll see in our further sessions he pays a visit to this world out of his own sweet will to please and protect his devotees and punish the evil i am only brahman but krishna is para brahman my power is limited his potencies are unlimited how our potencies are limited and his potencies are unlimited we can mix we can make small swimming pool but can we make the entire ocean no right that only god can make we can fly a small sputnik or rocket but can we float huge planets that only lord can do so we are limited we are very tiny in front of lord we can invent a dome light or a cfl bulb but god creates the moonlight we can't create moonlight we make ordinary dolls or robots but the lord has made our own body so lord is the actual doer i am just a small imitator lord is omnipresent omnipotent and omniscient who deserves everyone's love and humble service i am a tiny jeeva cast in oceanic material world lord is the greatest of all let us accept this fact at heart we are his tiny servants let realize and serve him with joy हरे कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे सो दिस इज द मंत्र विच इज मेन्शन इन द स्क्रिप्चर्स फॉर दिस एज सो एक्चुअली फ्रेंड्स वी हैव अ लॉट टू डिस्कस बट वी हैव वेरी लिमिटेड टाइम सो दैट्स आई एम जस्ट रशिंग अड थ्रू द स्लाइड्स सो नाउ विल सी सम प्रैक्टिकल बेनिफिट्स ऑफ दिस नॉलेज इन अवर लाइफ uh if we understand all these things very properly then it will save us from demoniac nature demoniac people those who don't know that we are not this body those who think that we are this body they just try to enjoy this body they don't live a responsible life just eat drink be merry enjoy who cares about future but if someone knows that we are not this body we have a higher purpose in life then we will understand what is good what is good activity what is bad activity how to be responsible in life so we will take proper action for our good or bad future then if you are just limited to body then body has many uh, shortcomings right so if we identify with body we feel that we have that shortcomings but if we identify that we are not this body then we can rise above all these shortcomings because i am not this body 
सो ये जो शॉर्टकमिंग्स हैं बॉडी की है ये मेरी शॉर्टकमिंग्स नहीं है सो वी कैन राइज अब ऑल द शॉर्टकमिंग्स एंड ऑल द नेगेटिविटी इन दिस वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट यूनिवर्सल ब्रदरहुड आप दुनिया में देखोगे जितने भी डिविजन है डिस्क्रिमिनेशन है ऑल ऑफ देम आर बेस्ड ऑन बॉडी वॉट डिवाइड अवर बॉडीली डिफरेंसेस बट इफ यू अंडरस्टैंड दैट आई एम नॉट दिस बॉडी आई एम ऑल्सो सोल अमेरिकन इज ऑल्सो सोल पाकिस्तानी इज ऑल्सो सोल एवरी वन इज सोल इवन अ स्मॉल कॉकरोच इज ऑल्सो अ सोल देन वी हैव वी विल हैव कंपैशन एंड ब्रदरहुड विथ एवरी लिविंग एंटिटी एंड पॉजिटिव एटीट्यूड दिस ऑल्सो वी कवर्ड ऑलरेडी विल बी कोऑपरेटिव विथ पीपल विल बी मोर पॉजिटिव एंड वी विल Uh, try to get ultimate happiness so these are similar things basically the more we rise above our bodily consciousness the more we become responsible and the more we become compassionate towards others and more we become happy in our life so these are the practical benefits that we get from this knowledge and we use these resources in proper way so this was the whole uh, presentation of science of soul i'll give i'll finish with a very interesting short story which uh, proves that we are not gods many of you might have heard somewhere or the other uh, somewhere or the other place that hum bhi bhagwan hai bhagwan ko pooja karne ki kya zarurat hai hum khud hi bhagwan hai but that is a very foolish idea how i'll give one short example once what happened there was a like a very senior devotee who was uh, first of all am i audible to all of you because this is very interesting and important story so i want all of you to hear it carefully so am i audible to all of you okay thank you so once what happened there was one very uh, senior devotee he was flying in an air um, aeroplane and he was chanting like we said na we should chant the name of god so he was chanting on his beats rosary beats so what happened uske baju mein jo aadmi baitha tha unke baju mein jo aadmi baitha tha wo bola ki kya tum ye bhagwan ka naam kyu chant kar rahe ho so this devotee said why what is the problem so he said you are chanting the name of god but you don't know that you are only the god i am only god i am only god that's what he said so this devotee said he didn't say anything he didn't want to indulge in all those uh, discussions so he just kept on chanting and then what happened after some like uh, 15 20 minutes that person who was sitting next to this devotee who said that i am god we all are gods i am god so that person he told this uh, devotee to move aside thoda sa side hatne ko bola so this devotee said why what happened so this person said that i have to go to washroom okay i have to go to washroom now this devotee said why do you want to go to washroom you are god and god is the supreme controller god can control this whole universe god can control all the planets and everything in this world can't you control even your bowels that's what he said if you can if you are god and you can control the whole universe can't you control that uh, urge of going to toilet so this person say he he was just speechless nobody had asked such a simple questions to him so he just uh, started uh, like making face ki jaane do jaane do i have to go so that per, that devotee said no i won't let you go you are god you should control your bowels so he started requesting and then this devotee is told that i will only allow you to go when you accept that you are not god so then he very quickly said that uh, uh, yeah yeah i accept i am not god i just he was i just used to think like that so just imagine this is a very simple case abhi matlab maine zyada kuch logic wagaira nahi bataya but as per the scriptures also we can understand that we are not god but this is a very simple logic agar hum god hai if we all are god then why are we suffering in this world why are we having so many pains um, the diseases sufferings why can't we control everything in this world if we are god so that is a common sense if we common if we apply our common sense we will understand that we are not god 
we are a part of him we have come from god but we are not god we are a small part of him so we should understand this very clearly that neither are we body nor we are god we are soul and soul is a small tiny part of god that's what we should understand and what is our duty we have a duty is to live a responsible life leading towards god consciousness harmony with nature and we should avoid the four sinful activities so that was all about this fourth session now fifth session onwards uh, like we'll go more into that uh, subject matter and things will be more clarified in case anyone have any doubts or any questions uh, i'll re reconnect the meeting and those who have doubts they can come back join the meeting or else we will just end after 5 minutes after we rejoin restart the meeting so thank you very much for your enthusiastic participation i will meet again next weekend or if any of you has doubts you can again rejoin